Hello children welcome back to the part 2 video of lesson number 3 class 5 maths multiplication chapter so let's do a brief recap of what we have learned in the part 1 video so we have learned about what is multiplication terms related in multiplication properties of multiplication and regarding the two digit multiplication and i had given some home assignment based on the two digit multiplication hope you all have solved it now let's move on to our next topic that is multiplication by 10 100 1000 so first let me explain you to multiply a number by 10 so when we are multiplying a number by 10 we just put a zero to the right of the number let me give you an example when 53 is multiplied by 10 we write down the number 53 and add a zero to the right of the number so the answer is 530 similarly one more example 62 multiplied by 10 we write 62 and put a zero to the right of the number and the answer is 620 then when we have to multiply a number by 100 what do we have to do we just had to add two zeros to the right of the number example 25 and multiplied by 100 we write down 25 and then put two zeros to its right so the answer is 2500 let me give you one more example when 34 is multiplied by 100 we get an answer 3400 then what do we do to multiply a number by 1000 we just need to add three zeros to the right of the number Example: thirty-six multiplied by thousand is thirty-six thousand. We get, and seventy-six multiplied by thousand, we get seventy-six thousand. So this is how we are going to do multiplication when we are multiplying numbers with ten, hundred, and thousand. So then, what we are going to do when we are multiplying number by two hundred, three hundred, two thousand, three thousand, or so on. So when we are multiplying a number by two hundred. we multiply the number by 2 and put two zeros to the right of the number for example 28 multiplied by 200 will give you 5600 so what we have done here we have just multiplied the given number 28 with two first and then added two zeros to its right then moving on to our next number that what we are supposed to do when we are multiplying a number by 2000 we just have to multiply the given number by 2 and then put three zeros to the right dear children remember since this is 1000 so we need to put three zeros to its right for example 32 when multiplied by 2000 first we have to multiply 32 into 2 we get an answer 64 and then put three zeros so the answer is 64000 and so on based on this topic here children i have given you an home assignment which is the exercise 3.1 from your maths textbook as you can see here bit a has complete the following in this there are the multiplications related to 200 9000 8000 and so on you are going to solve this and quickly find out the answer you can pause the video and solve the sums In my previous part of the video children I had taught you multiplication by two digit number now moving on to my next topic is how we are going to do multiplication by a three digit number so multiplication by a three digit number is also done in the same way as we were doing multiplication by a two digit number let me give you an example for your better understanding so here is an example given to you 265 when multiplied by 434 how do you get your answer so here what is the multiplicand multiplicand is 265 so and the multiplier is 434 so we have to write down the multiplier in the expanded form so 400 plus 30 plus 4 here the multiplicand 265 is first multiplied by 4 In the second row it is then multiplied by 
and then multiplied by 400 in the next last row then all the three rows are added to get the answer let me show you the short method of doing the following sum children here 265 is multiplied by 434 as you can see in the video 265 is the multiplicand 434 is the multiplier which i have marked it in an arrow mark so first 265 is multiplied with 4 that is the ones column is first multiplied then 265 is multiplied to the tens column in the second row and then in the last row 265 is multiplied with the hundreds column after the multiplying all the three rows then we add the numbers which we get in the first second and third row that is how we get an answer here as the product so here what do we see we see that numbers are written underneath each other according to their place value the numbers are multiplied vertically starting with the ones column then moving left column by column the multiplication lines are then added together to give the final answer hope you have understood this three digit multiplication children based on how to solve this multiplication of three digit number children i have given you a home assignment which is from your textbook exercise 3.2 and 3.3 here are the sums for you you can also download the pdf format of the home assignments from the description section of the video children after you have finished solving exercise 3.2 and 3.3 you move on to exercise 3.4 so here as you can see in exercise 3.4 you have to solve the word problem sums or the real life application multiplication sums so i have done for you the first sum you can see the question here a dealer buys 285 keyboards each keyboard costs him rupees 665 how much does he pay so this is the question so before you start solving the word problem sums always you have to remember few things in your mind the first one is you need to read the question and try to understand the given question and what is being asked to you in the question so here in this question what are the data is given to you they have given you that there is a dealer who is buying how many keyboards 285 keyboards and the cost of each keyboard is rupees 665 so how much money in total he needs to pay to buy 285 keyboards this is the question for you so you need to frame the statements for it okay you need to frame the statements for it like in the first statement we can write number of keyboards bought you can see in the video i have written there number of keyboards bought is equal to how many 285 then you will fall, write down the next statement that is cost of each keyboard is equal to rupees 665 then what is asked in the question that is how much he has to pay so you will write down therefore you can see the symbol of the therefore there therefore total amount paid so one is given and more is asked so we have to do the multiplication 285 multiplied by 665 and then you get the answer rupees 1,89,525 so this is how you are going to solve the rest of the sums given to you in exercise 3.4 still then bye and stay safe at home